channel my name is Natalie and I create home and lifestyle videos here on my channel and today we're doing my fall home tour for 2022 I cannot believe that this is the third home tour that I have filmed for this house my husband and I moved here in spring of 2020 so this is the third fall that we have been here and I think you will notice in this video compared to the previous two years a big difference in my decor so this year I did decide to go a little bit more minimal I decided to go with mainly tones of brown and off-white kind of ivory as well as a little bit of burgundy so you will see that throughout my house um, i kept things pretty simple this year i was really going towards not having a lot of clutter and not being overwhelmed by it because i do tend to get a little bit over the top in the christmas season coming up next so i really wanted fall to be very calm and very very soft and subtle so I am just going to take you guys around room by room and kind of explain what I did, how I added little touches of fall here and there, and yeah, I just hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get into the tour. If you have not been around since last year, you wouldn't have seen that I redid the entryway probably this summer sometime. We built a new table ourselves, that way we could really fill out the space a little bit better, and we added in the black and white photo gallery wall. For fall, I just added in these red leaves as well as a little art print that I got from Hobby Lobby just to really add in those warmer maroon and brown tones and then of course this fun little jack-o-lantern my mom actually got that for me last year I'm not sure where she got it but I thought it added a little pop of Halloween while still remaining pretty neutral Because I did not really use orange or yellow tones throughout the rest of my house this year, I did decide to use some of my pieces from last year that had those orange tones in them in the dining room. That way it wouldn't clash with the rest of the house. My dining room is a little bit removed from the other parts of the downstairs, so I did get to use some of my more orange pumpkin colored decor in the dining room. My favorite spot to decorate for the seasons is definitely my living room because I have the open shelves that are so much fun to decorate, although sometimes they do give me some trouble. But for this season, I decided to go with mostly tones of brown and off-white, like I said, with a little bit of burgundy. I try to take up room on my shelves by picking larger scaled pieces like art, large vases, and things like that. I also of course had to throw some pumpkins up there that I did have from previous years that were in neutral colors that went better with my color scheme for this year.
tip that I have for storage as well as just to save a little bit of money would be to buy pillow covers instead of new throw pillows every year. So I have pretty much the same inserts out all year round because I really like my feather filled pillows. I just like the way that they look a little bit better. But these new maroon pillow covers I got from Amazon and usually you can get a two pack for like $13. They're much more affordable than if you were to buy a whole new set of pillows. So that's just something to keep in mind. It's also a lot easier to store the covers versus an entire pillow when you put them away for the next season. For my coffee table this year, I really got to play up some of that maroon decor with this vase, candle, and these picks that I got from Hobby Lobby. I also got the bronzy looking pumpkin from Hobby Lobby, which I shared in my haul, but I just thought it's a really fun look for keeping things a little bit more muted, but also add that warmth to the space. I like to create little vignettes so we have our little diffuser station where I keep a pitcher to refill the dog's bowl so I just picked out my more fall looking pitcher I guess because it's a little bit warmer in tone to put out for the season I also always put out my seasonally scented cleaning products including dish soap hand soap and spray by the sink of course and then I decided to do this fun dough bowl with white pumpkins and a candle I really like how this looks on my island because it doesn't take up too much room, but it adds a lot of warmth to the space as well as decor. I try to keep my countertops pretty clear. I keep the same things out most of the year, like my little crystal lamp that was my grandma's, as well as my crock full of utensils and a little candy jar. I did switch out my spoon rest and I changed out kind of the cutting boards and things I have along the backsplash and just swap some things out to change it up a little bit. I did put my plant over here just because it's a live house plant and I'm not going to put it away just because it's green in the fall. Um, I did change out the cutting boards behind the KitchenAid as well. So it kept it really simple this fall, really kept my space open for lots of fall baking. I changed up my little shelves by adding a couple of small pumpkins and then on my kitchen table I swapped out the florals in my pitcher for some dried florals. They're faux but they look the same. I didn't want to put real florals above a candle just in case a, a branch fell off or something. But um, anyways you guys that is my kitchen. Keeping things really simple and just swapping out little things here and there to really add to that coziness of the fall season. So that is it for my fall home tour 2022, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do apologize there wasn't any decorating for fall videos um, and just kind of went straight to the home tour for Christmas. I do intend to do decorating videos. I had planned for fall to do some, but unfortunately some things in my personal life came up that I wasn't able to do so. So before the Christmas season, I will do some decorating videos, I promise. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this fall home tour. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration for how you can add small touches of fall decor to your home this season. And I hope it provided some kind of entertainment for y'all. So thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.